Hey everybody, welcome to the Chan's Logic People Project series finale. I hope you all enjoyed all of the guests I brought on during the People Project, which was season two of my podcast. I hope you got some great little tidbits of information. I hope it helped you propel your life to the next level, propel your business to the next level. And I really hope you enjoyed all the people that came on, all the people that took the time to have a great conversation with me, to interact, to discuss the things that happened in their lives, how they got to where they are, they're at, they are today, and what built them into the place that they're currently at, both in their business and personal lives. It was a really fun project for me, and I had a lot of fun with this season. I think there's a ton of nuggets of value, so even if you did listen to it, go back and listen to it a few more times because I think you can really, you can really pull out a lot of nuggets of gold. There's a lot of successful people who I talk to, authors, people who run businesses, people who are focused on personal development, and so I think there's just a ton of information to pull from, and, a, and you can really reshape, redefine, and change your life based on what you hear and what you understand. That's really the big part in learning how to become better in all aspects of our life and our business is trying to evolve, trying to learn what other people are doing, finding mentors who can help you propel yourself to the next level, and ultimately becoming someone who is great themselves, either in your business or in your personal life, and then taking that and using that to expound it onto other people and help other people out by being their mentors. And That's the concept and the idea behind the People Project season. Season one of my podcast was over 50 episodes. It was all about business and the philosophy of life and getting better. And then I shifted into this people project for season two. Season three is going to be pretty interesting. What I want to do is I want to build something we're going to call sessions. And in sessions, what we're going to do is we're going to get people to have a conversation based on a specific topic. And these people might be having conversations on opposing viewpoints. It might be a conversation on viewpoints that they agree and coincide on. But the whole premise behind it is to pick one specific topic and to get two people plus myself talking and interact with interacting with each other and displaying their thoughts and ideas based on those topics so I think it's gonna be pretty neat we're calling it sessions because it's really just a session between people having an organic and real conversation that's going to evolve in a direction to where the conversation actually takes itself it's not going to be scripted it's not going to be mapped out it's going to have one topic and it's going to go where it wants to go I think it's going to be pretty interesting pretty exciting just remember all of us are going through this whole aspect of life all of us are trying to figure out where we're going all of us want to figure out how we're going to get there and I can talk about my evolution a little bit as well in in the conclusion of this people project series and when I learned and when I was evolving and getting better at doing all this stuff I went from heavily into actually being fit working out a lot making sure I was in fit we opened the gym we, we were focused on it we were in that environment that dynamic And it pivot shifted into running and opening and managing several different businesses, which pivot shifted me more into a, I would call it a hustler mentality, where you're consistently and constantly going 24 seven. And I did that for a few years, but what I found was once you get too deep into the hustler mentality, you start to let your fitness go on the backbone, back on the back burner, because you're not able to focus on building yourself up and building your own personal side of things up and actually living your life in the way you want to live it. And ultimately, at some point, I found that business was starting to consume was starting to consume my whole life and business was starting to consume who I was. And that's not necessarily what I wanted to happen. And so at some point, what I realized was I had to pull back on the business and the hustler mentality a little bit and push forward on the actual life side of things as well. Because ultimately, at the end of life, we have one thing to look back on and we we have to say, was it worth it? And if you devote 24, if you don't devote your life 24 seven to the business aspect of things, you're not going to be able to enjoy the personal aspect, the family aspect, and all these cool, th- amazing things the world has to offer. So at some point I pulled off of that and pulled back into where I was focused on the business side of things when I need to be focused on it. But I also had a personal life developed and a personal life scheduled out to where I was happy with what I was doing. I was happy with where I was going in terms of the business side, but I was also happy with my family life and my personal life and the new baby and all of these these things that coincided and came together. I was able to create the ultimate solution and idea for me. And I can say that it went full circle in both realms. I was way too devoted on the fitness side of things, way too devoted on working out at six, three or four times a day back in my early 20s and then it turned into way being way too devoted on the business side of things so I went to both extremes and then from that I really learned how to keep everything centered and how to keep everything in a position to where I was focusing on both realms and I was happy with where both realms were at but I wasn't giving too much to one dynamic and this 
put me in a position where I was sleeping a lot better. I was living life the way I wanted to live it. I was making my own decisions. I wasn't working from 7 a.m. to midnight. And I put myself in a position where I had work hours scheduled. Laptops and, co- and electronics aren't allowed in the, the bedroom after a certain amount of time. And then when it's personal time and when it's family time, the phone doesn't come out. We don't respond to people immediately. We don't respond to emails and we don't sit there and get distracted by everything that's going on around us. And this really led into being mindful in the moment and mindful in what I'm doing. And that mindfulness allows me to be conscious and cognizant of what I'm doing in that moment in time. So if I'm with family, if I'm on vacation, if I'm traveling, whatever I'm doing, if whatever I, where I'm at and the mindset I'm at in, in that moment in time is ultimately where I want to be and I'm not going to let something else pull me out and distract me. So if a Slack message pops up, it's going to get ignored until I'm back on business time. If I'm on business time and a family thing pops up, the, the business time is where I'm at right now. So that's where my focus is unless it's some sort of emergency. But it's really, I think what we really need to do in our lives is we really need to understand that a big part of who we are and who we develop to be and who we ultimately learn to be is what are we going to do? And at the end of our lives, are we going to regret what we did? And is what you're building now, is it something that you're going to look back on and not only be proud of, but look back on and say, you know what? I did everything I wanted to do. I didn't waste a minute. And I feel like I'm in a position to where I lived a great life. And if you devote too much of your time to business, then you're going to say, you know what, I really wish I, I, I wish I was around my family more. I wish I had more time with my kids and I wish I could have just been there more. And I think we ultimately don't want to look back and, and live that regretful life. We don't want to look back and think that what, what did we build all this for? Did we build it just to, to build it, let it go and consume our entire being? Or did we build it so we could have that life we wanted? And if you're in the entrepreneurship world, this is a big point of contention for you. And A lot of us forget about the fact that we do have to have that personal life. We do have to have the travel life, the family life, the vacation life, the get away from it all life. The things we do outside our business that make us who we are and help us continue to be better at what we do inside of our business. Because if you're all business all the time, 24-7, you're going to end up in the weeds and you're not going to be able to be creative. You're not going to be able to pull out new information. You're not going to be able to pull out new ideas. You're just going to be stuck. But if you give yourself time to evolve and grow and move yourself away from business some of the time and actually have a good balanced persona and a good balanced life and a good balanced atmosphere, you're going to put yourself in a position to where you're a lot happy with where you're at. You're a lot happy with what you're doing and you're a lot happy with the position you're in at the end of it all. And so this is something to think about, especially for all you who are in the entrepreneurship world, all of the people out there who are actually focused on the work world as well. If you have this overbearing job that requires you to be there 14 hours a day and you're not happy with it, it's time to make that change. It's time to ultimately adjust your life and adjust your life into a position to where you're happy with where you're at. You're happy with what you're doing. And this is ultimately, it's it's really an evolution. It's an evolution of who you are. It's an evolution of growing. It's an evolution of maturing. And it's really an evolution of understanding what the most important things for you are and what the balance is. It's, it is an act of balance and it's an act of learning and understanding how you create that balance. Because if you let it pull one direction or the other, you're ultimately going to burn out or you're going to regret it down the road. So you really need to learn and understand what percentage of my time can be allocated to my work what percentage of my time can be allocated to my family? And then in addition to that, what percentage of my time can be allocated to me? A lot of us forget that you need to be in a position where you're in a good state of mind and you're happy before you can get back to your business and and your life. So what can you do to make you happy ultimately? And what can you do to put you in a position to where you you are in a good state of mind? You're not frustrated, you're not tired, you're not angry, you're not upset, and you're not just depressed or unhappy be and when we get into these positions we can't positions we can't necessarily understand why and it's usually because we're giving too much to other things and too much to other people so we need to think about what can I do to make me happy what can I do to put myself in a position where I'm doing something I enjoy outside of the business and the family or the all the personal life realm what can I do to the, every single week on a schedule that makes me happy and lets me get away from it all and I can tell you for me I, we own a gym still. We own all these businesses in the fitness industry. And so I don't necessarily want to be in, inside the gym doing things because I'm already there 24-7. So I go outside of that. I do Muay Thai, bo- Muay Thai kickboxing two or three times a week. I do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Jiu-Jitsu a couple times a week because it allows me to shut my brain off and it allows me to be taught by someone else and allows me just to go. And it 
I feel good after at the end of it. I feel like I actually I got a, a workout in, so that's great. But at the same time, I was allowed to learn something new. I didn't have to think about how I was going to teach it or how I was going to approach it. I just had to show up, do what I was told, and it puts me in a position to where my mindset is a lot more developed and in a much better position as a result of being able to do that a few times a week. And for you, this might be maybe you want to do something fitness related. Everybody should focus on their fitness. Don't let that's another big thing in, in when you get too focused on one realm, you let the other side fall. So maybe you do Thai boxing, maybe you do yoga, maybe you play chess, maybe you take that time to read a book. But it just needs to be something that you want to do and something you enjoy doing that allows you to get away from it all, turn your brain off, or shift your brain into a different position to where you're not in go, 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 go mode, or you're not in build mode, or you're not in teach mode. It, it puts your brain into a position where you get to be just what you want to do and where you want to be at that time and you ultimately get to shut it off and just enjoy yourself and that's I think that's one of the biggest things that we have to think about at the same time as we develop this balance and build this balanced parameter and this balanced life and these balanced atmospheres that we have is it's not a push and pull based on business and like personal or family life it's a push and a pull and it's a balancing act based on those dynamics so business personal family life and you time and we have to understand that we need to give a little bit to each piece and you don't need to make sure they don't need to be necessarily 100 percent complete balance but they need to be in a position where you're happy with what you're doing you're not killing yourself 24 7 and you ultimately are able to look back and say yeah i gave a lot of time to my family i'm pumped about that i built a bunch of businesses and i had a great time with that or i went to my job i loved that i worked and then i come home and i have my devotion time to the other stuff or and at the same time i was able to focus on a few things that make me happy because when we look at wellness the ultimate position for wellness is focused on a few pillars it's focused on your mental health it's focused on your physical health it's focused on your nutritional your gut health and it's also focused on your social health so we really need to understand that all these dynamics go into each other and they create that ultimate level of wellness for you and that ultimate level of where we feel happy and we feel okay and we feel in a good position with where we're at in the current space and time and if you focus on those pillars of wellness, the four pillars, it puts you in a better position to be a better employee. It puts you in a better position to be a better business owner. And it puts you in a position to think better, think clearer, and think in a position where other th people won't because they're in the weeds and they're stuck and they don't feel like they have any growth and they don't feel like they can think clearly. These are the things we need to do to clear our head, put ourselves in a better position, and ultimately make sure that we allow ourselves to develop, grow, and evolve over time as what we do develops, grows, evol and evolves over time. And I know a lot of you guys, you listen to this will think that it's, it's rather difficult to organize this, and it is. And the way I found that I could build this and organize this was I organized my day around a schedule. And the schedule is organized around the business time. So there's hours that I'm working, then there's hours to where I'm not, and I'm shut off, and I'm enjoying my time with Steph and the baby now and then there's hours that I'm devoted to me where I'm doing Thai boxing or I'm doing jujitsu or I'm just sitting there watching cat videos and I don't have to use my brain at that point in time and so you need to think about organizing your, organizing your day into these hours and then stick with that organizational structure so if you put it in your calendar and it's there and it's time to do that do that do it for the entire hour you build it the entire four hours you build it whatever you schedule that time for make sure you actually devote the time to doing it and don't put yourself in the mindset to where you can rationalize getting away from it so oh I was supposed to go to Thai boxing at noon but I got I'm, I'm just about to finish this project so I'll just power through this and I'll do it Wednesday then what's gonna happen then Wednesday's gonna go away then the next week's gonna go away and all of a sudden you're not doing it because you took away all your personal and your development time and put it towards business or you did the opposite so make sure that that doesn't happen and make sure when you're working on your business stuff you don't end up watching cat videos on Facebook because we need to make sure that we maximize productivity in the time that we have and the time that we've allocated for the things that we ultimately want and need to do. So really stick with the schedule. And some people I've heard in the past say, oh, I don't want to stick with the schedule. I want to live my life by on the fly or, or whatever. And that's okay if you're structured enough and you're in a mindset that's strong enough to where you can do that and you can hold yourself accountable to that. But 95% of people out there do not have the capability to do this and are not in the mindset and do not have a strong enough will to just be free and organize it. So you need to put this, write this down on paper, open your phone, put it in your phone calendars, and then have every day scripted out and every day organized into what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, and how you're going to do it. If you're an entrepreneur, it's really important that you organize around the work day and then you organize around the family time and inside the workday you have a chunk to where you do that personal development time 
And then if you're, or if you're an employee, you have your work hours. Then outside your work hours, you have your family time and then you have your personal development time. So you really, no matter what position you're at in life and no matter what you're doing in life, you can organize your time and you can strategize your time to make sure that it coincides with the schedule and you can build the schedule around yourself. But one of the most important things to do is make sure that you actually stick with that schedule and you actually follow through with everything you're, you need to do and actually you actually follow through with all of the things you put on that schedule in the balance of business, personal development, family. If you don't follow through with this, you're going to just err on the one that you think you should be doing and you're going to ultimately kill off your time and, and feel not okay about everything you're doing. So I hope this was a helpful episode, you guys. I, the People Project series really ended up being a long form series. So most of the episodes were 30 minutes to an hour, which was really neat because I couldn't, I didn't want to turn off the organic content. So this will be one of the shorter episodes we've seen in a while. But I think it was pre pretty important to talk about the balance that we have in terms of our work and our life balance and the balance that we create when we're trying to build out these structured organizations or the balance we're trying to create in our life just to be happy. A lot of people don't understand how to create this balance and they let one pull them too far and we ultimately face regret in the end. And I've faced the same thing and I've gone full circle in several different directions. So just remember, you're not alone. I've gone from being too devoted to fitness to being too devoted to business to really figuring out and understanding what the happy medium is and how you organize that happy medium around yourself in several different dynamics that put me in a position where I was a lot happier with what I was doing and where I was at. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any questions about this or you need help organizing your time and organizing your schedule and organizing your life into something that makes sense or actually works or is sensible for you to follow, shoot me an email. I'd love to help you out or hear your thoughts. Just Chandler at StoneAgeFuel.com or you can shoot me a Facebook message at my Chan's Logic Facebook page. Just Facebook.com forward slash Chan's Logic. Hope you all have a great day and I am looking for people for the sessions project. If you want to be part of sessions, shoot me an email on that as well to the Chandler at stonyfield.com email. I'd love to bring you on. I'd love to get some great conversations going and make season three a fabulous hit. I will see you all later. Have a great day. Have a great week and enjoy your life. See ya.